Good evening and welcome to the third in Making Music's Lockdown Virtual Concerts. My name is Paul Graham and I'm one of the elected trustees working with Making Music's professional staff to support amateur music making across the UK. I have a particular focus on folk music and promote an annual festival in May, which this year we had to cancel as a result of the COVID-19 crisis. This caused great sadness, but even in these dark days, it has been wonderful to see so many musical groups taking advantage of technology to bring their music to audiences starved of live performances. I know from my own family that producing music videos takes great care and patience, and you can be sure that Making Music is constantly updating its website to provide you with the latest and we hear best information to support your efforts. Tonight I am very proud that the concert again demonstrates the wide range of styles of music that are offered by Making Music's members. Amongst the items there is a wide range of choirs, an orchestra, a brass band, an accordion orchestra, rock with excellent dancing, and I would like to give a special mention to the jazz extravaganza from the young people of World Heartbeat. Fabulous! I hope you enjoy the concert and please remember to use the chat box to support the performers. Now over to Yorkshire for our first performance of the evening from the Loft House Brass Band. Thank you. 
Do you hear the people sing, singing the song of angry men? It is the music of a people who will not be slaves again. When the beating of the heart echoes the beating of the drums, there is a world about to start when tomorrow comes. Will you join me in our crusade to well be fight and fight with me? The end of the world is here. What you long to see here? Then join in the fight that will give you the right to be free. Again, when the beating of your heart echoes the beating of the drums, there is a life about to start when tomorrow comes. They will live again as free men in the garden of the Lord. They will walk behind the bush and they will bow to hold the sword. The chain will be broken and all. Beyond the barricade, is there a world you long to see? Do you hear the people sing? Say, do you hear the distant drums? It is the future that they bring when tomorrow comes. This is the hope and joy they sing when tomorrow comes. This is the future that they bring. Hello and good evening. My name is Dominic Ellis Peckham and I'm the musical director of London Oriana Choir. The choir is almost 50 years old and uh, in normal times we meet regularly on a Wednesday evening in central London for rehearsals. Uh, the singers can also enjoy individual singing lessons, musicianship sessions, we have residential weekends and perform in London across the UK and of course uh, we also take our music internationally once a year. We have some fantastic opportunities and wonderful collaborations over the years and have enjoyed performing lots and lots of different music with a real, real eclectic mix of collaborations from Madonna to The Who to Barbara Streisand, along with our classical music and our oratorios and operatic performances as well. Perhaps the thing we're most proud about is 515, our Women Composers Initiative designed to highlight the inequality that exists or existed uh, with choral composers in particular. And over the course of five years, we have commissioned five composers to be with us as composers and residents, each for a year in turn, resulting in 15 brand new commissions, five of which are for orchestra and uh, the other 10 are a cappella. We're so, so proud of the initiative and invite you to find out more about it at 515.org. But the piece we're submitting uh, for you this evening is a piece by our second composer in residence, Rebecca Dale, the amazing young English composer. Rebecca has gone on to wonderful things and is an amazing orchestrator, composer and conductor in her own right. This is a very, very short but beautiful setting called If I Should Go Before You Do, taken from her Mater Requiem and performed in 2019 in London at the Stationers Hall. I hope you enjoy.
Hi, I'm Anne-Marie, the Musical Director of the Stevenage Ladies Choir. We put this video together to celebrate our 60th birthday. We'd have liked to celebrate in the usual way with a concert and raising money for our charities. However, because of the lockdown, we had to get creative. We hope you enjoy, and if you can, please donate. World Heartbeat is based in southwest London and we work extensively with young people on some of the poorest estates in the UK. Many young people have low self-confidence and a lack of aspiration, but through music we can nurture the individual and that young person and particularly through jazz we can open up a realm of possibilities for them. We have so many examples of how music has transformed a life of an individual and how they're growing and prospering with music in their lives. World Heartbeat is able to provide them with bursaries and music tuition. And the next thing is they're playing a contemporary band, um, gigging class, they're playing jazz, they're playing in Speaker's House, Kensington Palace, all sorts of places and it's music that's given them that freedom and that tool. But World Heartbeat, we have top, top jazz musicians 
um, internationally well known that come and work with our young musicians. Music is so important in their lives and so valuable in their lives, it just totally transforms them. I really feel that it's an oasis away from all the negativity that we have in our environment.
I'm Elspeth from the Number One Ladies Accordion Orchestra. We are 15 women, 13 of us are accordionists, one is a percussionist, Janet, and Jane Ward is our musical director. We play a range of music, we play classical pieces, film themes, um, specially arranged folk tunes and lots of world music including klezmer and of course gorgeous tangos. The thing about the accordion is it's a very, very versatile instrument and there's lots and lots of great music for us to be able to learn and play. We don't have a home base because we all live in different places in England, Scotland and Wales. We meet to rehearse for six weekends a year. We take turns to host these weekends in our home towns and villages. And when we meet up, we rehearse, we perform, we socialise and if possible, we go for a lovely walk as well. And for this performance, we've decided to use um, a, an audio recording from one of our concerts and blend it with a video recording from one of our Zoom meetings. We're going to play a tune composed and arranged by our musical director, Jane Ward. It's called Begin for Bert. It's a begin, which is a dance, a bit like a rumba, and it has its origins in Guadeloupe. If you want to know who Bert is, 
you're going to have to come to one of our concerts or perhaps look on our Facebook page. I do hope you enjoy it. Do get up and dance if you feel like it. Yes, 
qu'est-ce que c'est I really hope that you enjoyed tonight's concert. And to see more of the same, please subscribe to Making Music's YouTube channel, where you can find the two previous concerts in the series. Also, another concert will be held in two weeks' time, and the series will continue until the 1st of September. In the meantime, keep making wonderful music, and thanks for watching and listening. Good night. <laughs>